at Mind Valley University, I really wanted to explore and push our Mind Valley students to, to go into cutting edge new models of human transformation. And there's this one thing that we decided to do that's kind of controversial. We call it intuition training. See, human intuition is this idea that our brains are so much more sophisticated than what we think and that our consciousness goes beyond the brain. It's the idea that you can tap into inspiration and intuition to be hyper creative and to make the right decisions in life. Many of the greatest minds in the world have spoken about intuition as one of the causes for their success from Steve Jobs to Edison. But is this something that you can train the average person to do. What I'm gonna show you is a behind the scenes video of the intuition training seminar that Mind Valley is bringing to the world and that we recently tested out and launched for the first time at Mind Valley University. So have an open mind and check out what's going on. Is human intuition real? How much of our decisions do we make based on logic versus gut instinct? I'm increasingly noticing that many of the most remarkable entrepreneurs I speak to say that they make decisions not just based on logic, but based on something within. And so at Mind Valley, one of the things we're doing is developing intuition training by teaching people how to access altered states of mind so that they can tap into their intuition to make better decisions in life. What if, as an entrepreneur or CEO, you could tap into these altered states and use them to make better decisions in life and business? So I'm gonna show you what's happening here at Mind Valley University. We've been developing an intuition training program that we're currently running on some 400 people, teaching them how to access altered states of mind through deep meditation and mindfulness, then to tap within to be able to intuitively work um, to help heal and connect with others. There are some huge implications here for how the world functions. Now, if you are a non-believer, know that that's good, that's healthy. I personally believe that in 10 years, every company will be teaching this to its employees. And in 20 years, this will be taught in school, just like mathematics is taught in school right now. Check out what's going on. So what you're seeing over here are people doing practical exercises in group intuition. These 400 people have just gone through two days of training to access deep states at alpha and theta levels of mind and tap into their intuition to be able to, and I want you to have an open mind here, project their awareness across time and space to get inspiration and get intuitive ideas that can help them in life. Inspiration and intuition are two sides of the same coin. And studies are now being done. For example, there was a study done at Newark College of Engineering by Professor John Mihalaski that showed that CEOs who are trained in intuition or who score high on intuitive tests actually have a higher correlation with increased profit growth in their companies. So we are seeing that intuition is one of the most powerful skills right now, but not a lot of people talk about it because it has a bad rap. We want to change that. If I told you the full truth of what we are training these people to do, many people in the world would not believe me. In fact, you'd probably crucify me. But mark my words, 10 years from now, this will be as common in Fortune 500 companies as mindfulness is today. In 20 years from now, schools will be teaching this to your kids the way they teach geography and history today. Now, if you like that video and if you're curious, know that you don't have to wait for another year for Mind Valley University. We're going to be bringing that same two day experience to Los Angeles on December 1st and 2nd this year. And this event is a form of altered state training. So you are trained to get into altered states of mind to then activate different aspects of your brain and your consciousness for intuition and inspiration. If you find it interesting, check out the website and maybe I'll see you in LA.